They've stopped. They've stopped? Now I think he's just messing with me. Hi you guys, my name is Alexandra and welcome back to my channel. So I have done a what's in my writer's bag that I take with me when I go to coffee shops and I am writing out of the house. This is going to be a what's in my purse, but it's going to be a writer or reader's edition. I love these videos. Whenever I watch these types of videos, what's in my bag, what's in my purse, I almost never see anybody pull out like a book or a notebook. I am wondering if that is something that I only do or is that something that a lot of readers and writers do? Whenever something is awkward, I usually go to a book or a notebook. And if I don't have one of those things, I feel kind of lost, to be honest. Okay, so let me show you the purse. So this is my bag. And actually my mom is the one who bought this bag for me. And I love it so much. It is a Steve Madden bag. So the very first one is this zipper. In the very first zipper, I just keep my wallet. And I'm not gonna open this, obviously, because it's got like personal information and stuff like that. But I've had this wallet for years. And I like to keep it there because I reach for it the most. And so I don't like to have to dig for it. So I always keep it on the side pocket zipped up. In this little pocket, this is the pocket here, I keep my phone. This is my phone. So the really cool thing that I love about this purse is it feels a bit like a Mary Poppins bag and here's why. It opens fully up. So when you open up the purse, it opens all of this. So you really, really feel like you can really open up your purse when you need and see everything that's inside of it. Okay, so maybe I should just stay at this angle. So the first thing in my bag is this, and it's just a canvas bag. I always keep a toothbrush and some toothpaste. Next, I have a hand sanitizer. This smells amazing. This is Copacabana coconut, and it's like, it reminds me of the beach. So next I've got this, and this is just the lipstick that I'm wearing right now. I like to keep whatever lipstick I'm wearing in my purse with me, and this is from Kat Von D, and it is called Love Sick. And then I've just got some extra foundation this is the Lumi cushion. Some eyeliner, again from Kat Von D. Chapstick, some mints. My very favorite blush in the whole wide world by Becca Cosmetics. A hair tie and some incredibly thick, amazing hand cream. And this is called Library of Flowers. Very fitting that it would be in this purse. Library of Flowers and Willow and Water and it smells incredible. I got this at Barnes and Noble. Okay, next in here, this is my pen case. So I love this pen case so much. I actually got this from Goulet Pens. You just, it's magnetized. You open up the flap and then in here, you can see all of the pens that I have. So these both are fountain pens and then this one is just, I think this is like a ballpoint for like if I'm signing a check like at a restaurant or something and then the ink would smear. I've got my Twisby and then I have got my Pilot Falcon pen. I feel like writers always like cool stuff like that for writing tools. Right? Or is that just me? I don't know. The next thing I have in here are just a pair of sunglasses. Now, okay, this is bad on me. I always try to just have one book in here, but right now I have two just because I, I couldn't decide when I was leaving today which one that I wanted to pack. Um, so this is the first book that I have in here, and this is called Wildwood and is by Colin Malloy. And I actually just started this book. I'm on page 25, and the bookmark in here is Second Star to the right and straight on till morning. And I actually got this from, I think I got this from Bookman's. And then if we go in here, got some headphones to block out the noise. And then the last thing is this. This is like a traveling cosmetics bag. So you just open it up and in here, this is like my little writer's kit. I usually just keep my books solely in here to kind of keep them from getting like bent or broken or anything like that. So this is the book that I have in here now. It's by Robin Hood and it's called Assassin's Apprentice. I have yet to start it, but I'm gonna start it this month. The next thing I have is a sketchbook and this is just a moleskin sketchbook. I've got some post-it notes. I like to keep little post-it notes with me all the time because I like to mark certain places in a book that I think are important, that I like, that I didn't like, so that if I wanna do a review on it later, I have references. And then this I use for when I'm writing so that I can write down scenes and ideas and like stick them in around different things in a notebook. A mechanical pencil for when I'm drawing or sketching. And then the last thing I have is my traveler's notebook. And this is in the color camel. I'm sorry that the lighting has changed. It's like midday 
and yet it is so incredibly dark outside. I love these traveler's notebooks because you can put as many of these little booklets inside and I use each one for a specific character. So if I'm specifically developing a side character or the love interest, I like to devote an entire book just to that character so that I really, really know what the character looks like and who the character is, all that kind of stuff. And I do that with setting, place. So right now the first one is just for random ideas for the story. The second one is a character that I'm developing and the third is a location in there, which is like a tea shop. And then I like to have these things. If I want them to stay open to a specific page, I can go ahead clip them and then I always have some sort of a pen on here it's a microderm pen right now because I think I was doing watercolor in this earlier but normally it's just like a regular pen and you guys that's everything in my purse okay guys that was it for what is in a reader writer's purse until next time book lovers keep your head in the clouds and your heart in a book and I will talk to you later bye keep whatever looks like why is that flashing they are and it was, it was feeling weird just like looking at my hands. <laughs>